Welcome back to my channel. I am about to report my first observed active regeneration for my 2019 Ram 2500 with 6.7 Cummins. Now, I've made, if you've been following my channel, you know that I make a lot of mileage report videos. I talk about regeneration, I talk about emissions, okay? I've talked about how Ram emissions are better than Ford emissions. Uh, and that is, that is a fact, <laughs> okay? Uh, the Ram, the way they conduct emissions, right? As long as I stay in passive regen, the truck is constantly cleaning itself out. And the way they have their emissions layout, the dock and then DPF, and then your SCR, because the DPF is right at the dock, right after the dock, which is right after the turbo, uh, the exhaust stays hot. And it's it remains hot on the highway, hot enough to conduct a passive regen. So my truck's always cleaning itself. Well, I hit about 5,600 miles on my truck. I have like 5,800 now, maybe 5,900-ish miles on the truck now. Um, but when I hit 5,600 miles, the truck went into an automatic uh, exhaust filter cleaning process, regeneration, which I thought was interesting because I, you know that I monitor my exhaust gas temperatures with my Easy Link. I monitor regen all the time. And I have yet to experience an active regen with my 19 Ram. Now with the Fords, my 17 and my 19 Fords, I, I experienced active regens and OCRs all the time. Like every 250 some miles or every 500 miles because Ford has a counter, every 500 miles the trucks can go into regen regardless. Okay, But here's something interesting. When the Ram goes into regen, my first active regen, remember the truck's always in regen, passive regen with you know uh, my previous videos. However, this is the first active, observed active regen. I still pulled 22.8 miles to the gallon. 22.8 miles to the gallon. Even when the truck did a regen. That shows and is proof that Ram Cummins emission systems are very, very refined. It is more refined than Ford and GM because they don't, particularly Ford, they don't know how to build a fuel efficient regeneration program code or whatever you want to call it they they don't know how they just program the truck when it goes in the regen just dump as much fuel as you can and get the exhaust gas temperatures as super hot to burn out that stuff out that that's just what they do and this this is just proof of that and i'm going to show you some more stuff here but i still pulled 22.8 miles of the gallon even when the truck went into active regen as in dumping fuel in the number six cylinder during the exhaust stroke to that fuel goes down to the diesel oxidation catalyst, heats up the exhaust, and then the exhaust coming out of the dock reaches exhaust burning, you know, the soot burning temperatures it needs uh, between 600 and, you know, 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. With the Fords, with my 19 Fords and my 17 Ford, I noticed that exhaust gas temperatures would be anywhere between 1,200 and over 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. That is way too hot, way too hot. Uh, and uh, so anyways, I'm, I'm going to show you that. Before I get to the Fords, let me just show you what I noticed, right? At 5,600 miles, this is what popped up. Automatic exhaust system regeneration in progress. As you can see here, 5,600 miles, uh, 5,678. But here's something that's also interesting. My 18 Ram, I never experienced um, like a message coming up, right? In my 16 Ram, the message that came up at about 35,000 miles was exhaust filter full X number of percent go drive or needs to be cleaned or whatever, right? And I went through the manual and those are the proper terms, right? Usually exhaust filter full, some kind of percentage of how full it is, and then, you know, either go drive or it needs regeneration or something, right? And as you drive, there, that counter exhaust filter full percentage will just continue to drop. In this case, it said automatic exhaust system regeneration in progress. Now, I'm not exactly sure what that means, but this is just me talking. My theory here is perhaps this could be like a built-in mileage counter, kind of like Ford, except instead of every 500 miles, it could be it could be every X number of thousands of miles to do an automatic exhaust system regeneration just to make sure that the filter stays clean because that DPF gauge Ram has, right? it was still zero or it wasn't reading enough to be you know 10 20 30 50 percent full or whatever it still remained zero and even 
uh, in my easy link monitoring it, there was no indication that the truck needed to a regen. So that leads me to believe, and this is just my theory, that leads me to believe that this could be a built-in mileage thing that every maybe every 5,600 miles, maybe every 5,500 miles, somewhere around that range, the truck will just automatically go into a regen. And that's good. That's not, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, as you can see here, I get really good few months. Look, I got 633 miles range here, and I've been driving the highway for X number of, I don't know how long. Um, so here are my EGTs for the Ram that I experienced, uh, what, uh, a couple days ago or yesterday or whatever, like two days ago. Uh, 900 degrees Fahrenheit for the DPF. Not bad. The highest it got was a little over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the Fords, Ford gets hot. Ford gets really hot. Let's see, let, let's see if I can pull that up. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me shrink that down some. So this is the Ford. This was the 19 Ford that I had. As you can see here, EGT sensor 1, 2, and 3. These are your DPS sensors right here. Look, look, look at how hot that is. 1,200 degrees Fahrenheit. I've seen this get up to 1300, little over 1,300 degrees Fahrenheit. Ridiculous. And the way Ford does it, whenever the DPF soot load closed loop, whenever this reached 100%, the truck goes into active regen, regardless. Or every 250 or 500 miles, the truck would go into active regen, whether the truck needed it or not. Super irritating. Super duty, which is super irritating. Um, so anyways, that's the Ford. Let me... Let me move this off to the side and close this out. Okay, so back to the RAM. The highest I saw was a little over 1,000 degrees Fahrenheit, and that's great because you, you don't want temperatures getting 12, 13, 1,400 degrees Fahrenheit like with the Ford. That's ridiculous. All right, so let's look at some regeneration observ observance in my 19 Ford. Okay, you see here, look, active regen, 17.9 miles to the gallon. Regen, 15 miles to the gallon. Regen, 17.2 miles to the gallon. Partial regen, 14.9 miles to the gallon. Why partial? Because once I reached my destination, I was tired. I did not want to continue driving until the truck finished its regen. And that's the way Ford does it. What's irritating about Ford's regen process, it seems to always go into regen right before I get to my destination. That is super irritating, and I hated that about the Ford. Anyways, regen, 20.7. Let me tell you why I got 20.7 miles to the gallon. It's because I decided to drive extra slow after the truck got, w went into region. I wanted to see what kind of mileage I, if I can, if I can squeeze a little bit of better fuel mileage out of my truck after the truck went into region. And I did that. I drove like 55 miles an hour on the highway and I managed to pull 20.7 miles to the gallon after a region. Not bad, but I had to drive slow. Okay. And I'm sure that pissed everybody off while I was driving. Another region, 16.7 miles to the gallon. Another regen. Look at this one. 14.6 miles to the gallon. Deep clean regen. This one lasted 45 minutes. 17.5 miles to the gallon. That's awful. Awful. Now, the 19 Ford, I noticed that it could get good fuel miles. Look at this one. 22.4 miles to the gallon. But well, that's when it's not in regen. Unfortunately, the truck goes into active regen all the time. And the reason why it goes into active regen is because they have the diesel particulate filter at the back of the exhaust not after the dock where it should be. And when, even though that's like a foot and a half, maybe two feet difference between the dock through the SCR, then the DPF, that small amount of distance makes all the difference in the world in terms of temperatures, okay? Because it can lose up to 100 to 200 degrees Fahrenheit just going from the dock through the SCR. By the way, when it's going through the SCR, what is being injected into the SCR? A liquid, diesel exhaust fluid. What do you think that's going to do? That's going to cool the exhaust down before it even gets to the DPF. Think about that. That means your DPF will never be in passive region on the highway unless you're pulling some incredibly heavy load to get your exhaust temperatures um, high enough from the engine itself. Anyways, um, so let's now. Now I want to look at my 17 Ford. Let's go back to my 17 Ford. Okay, let's so let's scoot this over here. Look at this. I have no so. Back then, I was doing it even more crazy. I would, I would, I would observe the active regen start miles when it started, when the regen completed, and then total miles driven in the exhaust, and then miles between last regen. Look at this. It went to regen all the time, always in an active. This isn't passive. This is active regen, as in the exhaust gas temperatures went from like 
500 degrees Fahrenheit to 1300 degrees Fahrenheit for like 15 to 20 to 30 minutes long. Okay, that's an active region. Okay, and super irritating. And I had OCR turned on, so the truck told me it was an active region. Super irritating. And then I started observing OCR because sometimes I can't drive on the highway because I'm doing a lot of in-town driving. So instead, I do an OCR region. And you can see here, OCR time start, the miles it started at, OCR time finished, how many minutes it took, and mileage between regions. And you, you can see, look, look at this. You can see diff, uh, how many miles I drove between regions. Okay, but you can see here, lots of region, just consistently, just these Fords. And look at the mileage. Look at this 17F350. Look at that mileage. Awful. Absolutely awful. A lot of red there. Only only three times it got over 18 miles a gallon in the first, you know, four months that, that I owned the 17 uh, F350. Anyways, that was the 17 F350. This is the 19 F250. Back to my Ram. The Ram gets phenomenal fuel mileage. And because of the positioning of the diesel exhaust filter, right behind the diesel oxidation catalyst, right behind the turbo, the DPF stays hot to always conduct a passive region. Love RAM. So this is amazing. I think this is absolutely amazing. And I just wanted to share my thoughts and to share the fact that even though the truck did conduct an active region, I still got 22.8 miles to the gallon. I'd like to see a Ford do that or a GM do that. Here's a challenge for some Whoever has the new whatever trucks with the 10-speed automatic, I want you guys to start observing your fuel mileage. Do the data like I do. Start recording your stuff. Monitor your stuff. Can you get 20? Can you get over 20 miles to the gallon when conducting a region? Let's find out. You know. Now I'm pretty sure no one's going to do this because people don't have the time or patience to do this. If I buy a 2020 Ford with the 10-speed, I will do that. But chances of me doing that? Pretty slim, because the Ford Ford trucks are just bigger trucks. They're much longer. They're like a they're like 17 inches longer than my Ram. It can't fit in the garage. My Ram fits in the garage, and that's kind of important to me. As in, fits in the garage, I can shut the garage door. Um, anyways, so that's just my observation. I'm very pleased with the Ram. I'm pleased that I can get over 20 miles to the gallon even when the truck conducts an active region, and that is saying a lot.